Welcome to my adcreative.ai review. So is this the best ad creation software and is it as legit as many others make it out to be? That's what we're gonna find out in this review video. If you'd like to follow along with me or just test out ad creative, I will leave my link in the description below. And if you click that, not only can you get a free trial, but some bonus credits so that you can actually download some of the creatives that you create. Let's begin. First and foremost, I really love the fact that this is a very simple software to use and to get up and off the ground with. For example, you will need to add your brand, which as you can see, I have a couple here. I'm just gonna show you the edit button as to what you would need to do. Put in your brand name. This is just a random one I made up to do some more examples. And when you drop in your logo, it will immediately add your brand colors to it so that when you create your creatives, it will all be congruent with the colors that you've already used, which is a nice touch. Add in your brand description, add in the type of it for this is gonna be uh, consulting and then of course save. From there, we can create a project utilizing it. So if we click on this, we do create a project. So when it comes to our creative formats, you can also do social creatives. It's a very similar process. It's more about what do you want in terms of dimension wise and where do you wanna use it? For example, these are gonna be some of the best for social media. These are gonna be great for display advertising or maybe you wanna throw like a leaderboard on your website or just maybe a half page or a wide skyscraper on the right side. It's really gonna be up to you. But for this, I'm just gonna go with the post size, say for like Facebook or Instagram, whatever it's going to be. That one's already highlighted, so let's utilize that. Project description, sure, idea marketing. And then we have our target audience, which ironically enough, this will also be great for small business owners. So let me type that in there. Okay, so we have that. Let's click on save and continue. So that's the first big step. Next is what's gonna do is you're gonna add your headline, your punchline, and your call to action here. So you can utilize text AI, which you can. This is one of the things where I found like I found myself not using, and I'll explain, simply for the fact that there's such a limited amount of characters here, there's not a whole lot to put in here. And no one knows your brand, your product, your offer, your niche better than you, so I think it's usually just easier to do that. However, I will click on this just to show you what we get as an example. All right, so grow your business with idea marketing, grow your business with idea marketing. We have a repeat there and then create ideas now. So overall, like it doesn't exactly know exactly what you're looking for here, which I wouldn't say is a fault because there's no context to it. It will be related to something with marketing and growing your business. However, if you had a specific promotion, it's just gonna be a little bit easier to type that in yourself. Or maybe you'd like to grow your business with idea marketing. We can change around the punchline and of course the call to action. So let's delete these and I'll create some new ones for you. All right, so as you'll see, we have grow your business with idea marketing, and then it says, allow us to do your marketing for you. So it's kind of like a done for you solution where you can work with clients. They say what they need to do. And of course, that's where it would come in. So that's just an example of something that you can utilize. Now I want you to keep in mind here, this can be done for a lot of things. You'll notice when we use text AI, it's more about like brand recognition and what we do. That's great. That's just one way of doing this. You can use this for discounts. You can use it for promos. You can use it for new products. You can use it for social media posts. You can also do it for something say you had a new article written or maybe a new video, a value video, or maybe a free ebook, whatever it's going to be, you can use this to generate a, obviously a graphic, could be a creative for it, and then utilize that on your social media platforms or websites, wherever it's going to be. So keep in mind, there's a lot of different usages for it. And a lot of that's going to come into this specific aspect. Obviously, once you know what you need to do, it becomes so much easier, but just wanted to give that little tip there for you so that it, it allows you for more creativeness when it comes to using the banners and all your creatives. Okay, so save and continue. This is pretty much our last step aside from giving it a name. So let's go to the image search engine and they have quite a lot of them as it says, thanks to our 100 million plus image database. So let's just do something like uh, teamwork. I'm trying to think of a picture where a lot of people are holding hands. There we go, exactly like that. Cause it's a collaborative thing, right? Even though it might not look like it's marketing, like that could be marketing, right? But something together where there's a lot of people. I like that. And let's just look down. It takes a little longer to load just because there's so many pictures. This one actually looks great. It looks like there's computers in the background. Let's utilize this one. There you go. So it's a done for you thing. I like that. And like you said, you got the keyboard right there. So we can move that around. That's fine. There is the ability to generate with several background images. But for me personally, I just like using the one in all the demos that I've done. And that's just about the last step. The last thing is just be giving it a name. So let's just call it idea marketing. Let's click on save and generate. And just like that, it's gonna go through this little process with the uh, AI reading the data, best practices, conversion rate optimization, which I love, creatives being generated. And then last but not least, the creatives can be ready to download. So depending on how many credits you have, obviously the more downloads you can get. So let's give this a second and it should be good to go. 
All right, and just like that, we have a ton of creatives. Now, I'm not sure exactly how many there are, but there's a good amount. So let's go over this. The conversion score is great. It says, based on your data, we believe this template can bring you the best results. Make sure that the colors look good on the template, edit if needed. And of course, you can do that for each specific one. If there is one that you really like, you can go to the edit button and go from there. Okay, so this is kind of scrolling down. Keep in mind, there's gonna be some that you love, some that you'll probably never wanna use, and that's completely okay. Every time I go through this, there's a few that have like a really big filter. Uh, like this is the one, like I never liked the one with the extreme filters and that's fine, but maybe you wanna use that. Maybe you wanna split test it and for some odd reason it sticks out more based upon where it's gonna be. That's obviously gonna be up to you. But the fact that it creates so many different types of creatives with different formats of them, like different picture positioning, different text coloring, different filters, different layouts, something like this, if you wanted to create this many creatives would just cost a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of money, especially if you're looking to outsource. I love this one, I think this looks fantastic especially when you when it comes to the logo right here we have that co yellowy color right there right with some of the dark of course that's where this really pops out because we have the yellow the white is easy to see and of course this is see how it works here where it's a collaborative type of thing allow us to do your marketing for you like allow us to do 90 percent of your marketing obviously you got to maybe tune in a little bit more on your headline or your punchline either way this one looks great as well easier to see call to action right there here's an example where they take a picture and they kind of splice it into other sections sections. Notice like if you wanted to do something like that, sometimes learning a tutorial, because I do a lot of tutorials, right? If you wanted to just do something, how can I create something like this with the boxes in the back? That can take a long time just to do that specifically. But like I said, it's pretty much a few clicks and it allows you to create so many possibilities. It's almost endless, especially for the fact that you can edit them, utilize different pictures. And maybe if you had a different logo, you want to change around the colors a little. But overall, once again, like I said before, when you upload your logo, you get most of the colors along with it, which I really like. So your brand is gonna stay consistent overall instead of randomly adding purple in there or something like that. That is also another way if you wanna stay a little bit more consistent is if you find a picture that maybe has a little bit more orange in there, that's obviously up to you. But something else I wanna point out is that as you go down, you'll notice the conversion scores go a little bit lower. That doesn't mean that you can't use them because you never know, some always do better and it's just, it's hard to tell until you actually do it right. Like that one is a little bit off of the brand. I understand they're using the darker color there, but hey, maybe you wanted to test that as well. And this kind of scrolling through, there's just so many that you can look at, choose from, pick, download, or just edit. That's really going to be up to you. So in a nutshell, let me give you my thoughts when it comes to my adcreative.ai review. So the big question is, is this the best ad creation software? Ironically enough, this I haven't used too many like this. In my opinion, it is very unique. It saves you a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of money. It allows you to scale easier. And another thing I really love is that it's simple to use and it's a step-by-step -step process. As I explained in in the beginning, I love software tools where if you have no experience with something like this, you can get it, quickly dive in and get the result you want. And that's, I think, what makes this software so special. So it quite possibly could be one of the best creation softwares in terms of ads, which is why I find it so unique. And if this is something that at least interests you or you have a need when it comes to creating a lot of ad creatives or social creatives, definitely something you wanna consider trying out. I haven't been this excited for a software and I understand that if this gets into the right hands of the right person who needs it, they're really gonna save a lot of time, effort, and money. And that's an awesome thing because that's what software should be there for, you know, to really help you save that time, effort, and money while scaling up your business and, of course, allowing you more freedom in the process. So as you could probably figure it out by now, adcreative.ai is very legit. Two thumbs up, highly recommend it. I will have my link down below in case you wanna try it out. Not only will you get a free trial, but you can get those credits where you can go in and download them. And yes, keep in mind, notice how the watermark is here for all these. When you actually download them, you will get that removed so you can obviously have your banners, your ad creatives perfectly and fresh as they should be. That about does it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching my ad creative review and I'll see you in my next video.